Hello everybody, today I want to introduce you to the Graham White Ebell. You're looking at a Graham White Ebell model number 373-011. This is the exact type that's put on a locomotive in current times. So you're looking at the front of it where you plug in the wiring. This is exactly how it's going to come if you get a new one. You're going to look at the Ebell, this is the top, this will be the bottom here and you're looking at the tags that would come with it when it's new and I'll go over the tags as well. The tags, first tag is going to say never install it upside down. If you get it upside down it could get water in it and if, if you get water up into the bell itself you'll will cause some damage to it. And the other side of the tag basically says don't paint any lower than this rim right here. That's, the, that's So you can paint everything up. This one here has the black locomotive paint on it already second tag that you're going to have is going to be about wiring. Just show us a little bit of information about wiring. I'll bring this a little closer so you can take a look at the tag here. Flip it over. And the story on this, e this particular model e-bell, this requires 25 volts DC in up to 138 volts DC in. This particular bell model has the ITT cannon port. This is a waterproof connector and this is what it looks like on the other side. This is a two pin ITT cannon connector here and that's the other side of it. And to basically put this in you just line up the pins, put it on, give it a little spin and then it clicks and that's now waterproof. And you get two wires coming out of the ITT cannon cord and that's basically where you put your power so your typical car power will not power this unit you need 25 volts minimum again up to 138 so in a case of a 12 volts it will not supply enough power to get this thing cranking so what you need to do in this case you would need an item such as a converter this would be a converter here this converts your 12 volts and get you in the range of your 25 to 38. So you're going to need one of these. A guy on eBay sells these at a pretty good price and they work great for this product here. So basically the way this converter works is you're going to put your your car power on your red and your car power on your black. You got your 12 in and you got your negative here. And then it goes into the converter it comes out in between the range if you get the right converter. This one here We'll put out the, the higher voltage here and then here's your negative. So then what you do is you just put it on to your, your connector here, put in the power and it's gonna ring away. And it doesn't matter whether, whether it's this way or that way, it can do dual polarity on the e-bell. But it does require DC power, not AC power. AC power will damage your e-bell. So if you get the idea, you wanna plug it in a wall, forget it, you will fry it. Or after a little while, you'll fry it. And then you have your expiration date up in the top here as well. That shows you when, when it's out of warranty here. Then you got on the top, you got your area to bolt it. So if you're putting it on your truck or your car or on your train, this is where you mount it here. You can also get brackets for them as well. This would be a, one of the brackets that's available for these. Brackets would, would go like that, or you can put them there, however you want. And then you can mount this side to your truck, trailer, or train, whatever you need to do. But that's basically how, how it goes. All right, I'm gonna hook this up for you. This will be the next thing we're gonna do, and it'll show you it ringing away. That is extremely loud. So there you have it. That's your e-bell powered up. And to give you an idea on the size of this e-bell, it's about 14 inches tall. And it's about nine inches across. It's fairly sizable. If you wanted to take that in consideration for any mounting, it's fairly sizable. Well, there's your Grand White e-bell model 373-011 currently in production in 2020. 
Have a good day and thanks for watching.